The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. When we talk about the transformation of society, our primary hope is you. Not the social services we do. We want you to bring transformation in your sphere. A change life can change environment. That is why we are paying attention to the heart of man. And your heart. Now, when we lift him up by our, our good deeds, he will draw all men unto himself. Now we had a break for about two, three weeks. And we want to close the gap. So I will recap what we taught uh, three weeks ago. Emphasize on where I should emphasize. So we'll be able to kind of uh, bridge the gap. Woe to anyone through whom offense comes. See, it is impossible that offenses should not come. Especially when activities of people living in a particular period is steep in evil. Now, when you live in such an environment, you cannot say, no one will offend me. Or nothing will cause me displeasure. Brothers and sisters, there are issues everywhere. <laughs> Today, Apostle Anani Dente was preaching and he says that uh, our suffering does not surprise God. It, it was it was such such a balm to, to me. Our <laughs> suffering does not <laughs> surprise God. And our crosses does not actually surprise him because he carried Across. Why can't you carry us? There are issues everywhere. If you like leave the church of Pentecost because of issues, I'll find you a very good church. You come back in three days. Don't be afraid. Troubles in families. Troubles among siblings. Issues at home. Issues at the workplace. Issues everywhere. Because human beings are everywhere. Wherever you find somebody like you, remember that there will be issues. However, the understanding that in life, Things cause offense. Uh, it, it, is, it is an insulation. It is a good guard to our heart so that we are not constantly bitter. Let me remind you that I said that ships don't sink because of the water around them. Ships sink because of the water that gets into them. So when water gets in the ship, 
then the ship will sink. So we advise that don't allow what is happening around you get into you. It will weigh you down. So try and stay afloat. Stay focused. Because there are issues everywhere. Guard your hands. Guard it. So that you don't become bitter at situations or anywhere. Let's pay attention to Jesus, our master. John chapter 2 from verse 23 to 25. John chapter 2 from 23 to 25. Let's read from verse 23. Now while he was in Jerusalem at the Passover festival, Many people saw the signs he was performing and believed in his name. And so, over Jerusalem, Trum Afasiano Aseno, Nipa Bebre, Nun in Centrenia, Oyoeno, now with Jenny Ding Edi. Now, not in Capenium, but in Jerusalem proper. And your Capenium, Nemo Jerusalem and Casa, the real capital. Yeah, I'm in because of the teachings and the miracles, people were praising him. So his fame was being sound abroad. The next verse says, But Jesus would not entrust himself to them, for he knew all people. He did not entrust himself to them. He didn't, he didn't he was not swayed by their praise. Because he knew what was in him. Yeah, because these same people who are saying Hosanna, he knew beyond all doubt that these same people will say crucify him. The King James says that he wouldn't commit himself to men because he knows what is in a man. He did not need any testimony about mankind. Oh, yeah. Not one word in the Bible. He did not need any testimony about mankind. For he knew what was in each person. So Jesus' action here helps us to see people as they really are. Yet without being bitter or critical of them. See, there is no good in a man or in a person to entrust yourself in them. To them as you say. Now, there is no good in a person. For you to entrust yourself to them. So individuals without the grace, they are helpless to uh, to do good. Even those of us who are born again, sometimes we struggle to do what is right. See, I like the King James version. We say that what is flesh is flesh. Now, sometimes when you meet an, an unbeliever and the unbeliever is drinking, the unbeliever is chasing women, what do you want the unbeliever to do? What is flesh? It's flesh. But the only clever example for humanity is the disciple of Jesus Christ, you yourself. See, many of the things in life that afflict injury, grief, and pain stem from the fact that we suffer illusion. Yeah, we feel deceived and betrayed. We, we have expected so much from certain people, and now we don't get it, and we feel uh, betrayed. So I was saying the other time that any time that you even confine into a human being, know that you have taken a risk. 
Kachira oda se tode bi a wanka sa obe kan sum sem achira obi di obi ra sheni muno unu se ejina wetu nu ehu. Whether the person is a counselor or a pastor or even your own uncle, you know you have taken a risk. And found in the background, what can I assume? Some natural no answer. What the idea no man is see. We no say anamono we to no. You move with them. That's why there's a town in Ghana called KJV. Okay, KJV. It's in your own club. It's in Ghana. Ha, and as for me, I'm your friend KJV. Let's just say if you say, then you leave some. See. Sometimes we, we expect total justice and perfection from human beings. And we don't get it, we become bitter, we become cruel, and sometimes we become very, very vindictive. See, you are demanding from a human being something that cannot, that the fellow cannot possibly give. So the Lord Jesus will not trust himself on to anyone. He never placed his faith in a human being. Yet he was never suspicious or bitter at anyone. Why? Because he knew what was in a person. Yeah, so when a human being falters or maybe uh, disappoints you, there's no need to go in and be bitter. You should, Jesus has told you that there's something in a human being. Our trust should rather be in God. And what his grace can do for human beings. That is why we call on Christians to pray, study the Bible, wait upon God, because it is that grace that transforms life. See, otherwise, humans in and of ourselves are bound to be disappointing one another. See, the many disappointments and apparent disillusionment makes us cynical and overly critical in our judgment of others. Now because uh, brother A disappointed you the other time, you are very critical of brother B and very cynical of other others like brother C. It sounds, yeah. It sounds so similar. 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 It sounds has come from yielding to God's grace. The Bible says that the grace of God that saved us, that same grace teaches us to say no unto ungodliness. So you yield to the teachings of the grace and then you can be trusted. So please listen to me. As we travel on the road of life, let's make room for people's genuine mistakes and failings. See, my friend Oswald Chambers said this many years ago, and I quote, Madam for Oswald Chambers, or can say be in Frisia Bibrini, and say no can. Never look for righteousness in the other person, but never cease 
to be righteous yourself. No, never look for righteousness in other person. You'll be disappointed. You take it as if you are the only righteous fellow, an example of Christ, and live out righteousness. Never look for righteousness in the other person. But never cease to be righteous yourself. Now, this one sings so much with Jesus' teaching on the mount, the sermon on the mount. Let's go to chapter 5 of Matthew. We we'll take it from verse 38. Can we read this verse together? Ready, go. You have heard that it was said, eye for eye and tooth for tooth. Now this one was, was said by Moses. In fact, it was part of the laws that God gave the Israelites, eye for eye. Tweet for tweet. Now this one was Moses. We free Moses. This is teaching revenge. We your Moses But Hebrew says that in the past, God has directed and led us by prophets and the law, but now He directs us by the Son. But when Moses representing the law and Elijah representing the prophets appeared on the Mount of Transfiguration with Jesus, now Peter and Co saw a changed man, Jesus. Somehow, by revelation, they saw Peter and Elijah. Now, the two of them left. And it, it was only Jesus that remained there. And the Bible says that a voice from heaven says, This is my son. Listen to him. So now, don't listen to Moses. Don't listen to Elijah. It's not about the prophets. It's not about the law. But it's about the son. And Christian Now, so having understood this, let's go back to read these verses again. So, you have heard that it was said, eye for eye and tooth for tooth. 39. Now, so this one begins with but. I tell you, do not resist an evil person. Now, this one, uh, it, everyone should take it serious. Apart from the Father Jesus is teaching us, it is, it is, it is right. It is safe for you not to resist an evil person. Oui. When you meet an arm robber, don't try to resist an evil person. We you Christian church are all the way in say you see a no maybe a any idea see a mumma yeah yeah say yeah the yeah who ding eh yeah the oh yeah yeah no and name one I did see a name who see a obi a ukra a two ni adia and then no kwa. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to the other cheek also. This one is directly opposite eye for eye, tooth for tooth. That is why the Pharisees say, what new teaching is this? Now this verse began with but. But anytime that you read as a Christian, there is something on your inside that wants to resist this one. As if it is not sensible. Now verse 40. And if anyone wants to see you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. 
na de opese oni wo di asem na oje watade e ise ise ase ye no ma no fa watade nkataso no enso if you preach this in prayer of you see this so what what do you mean by this so wo pomo dia so wo di we kenya misem e wo prayer of you see and wo be kan se na de na wo kire if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Biara or Beshaw, sir, or no end, and take when seen back on, and then come you know. But let me say this these verses reveal the humiliation of being a Christian, if you like. Okay, we no mono, a chre, so you didn't need no ma, a brewa say, so we pair. See, in the natural realm, if a person does not hit back, they are termed cowards. But in the spirit realm, it is the evidence of the spirit of God in that person if he doesn't hit back. But when you're offended, you must not you must not only not resent it, but you must make it an opportunity to exhibit the Christ in you. The hope of glory. So be tiyao na yeso anon tu sinti duya. En se se on fa ya odi en se omu en kon. Ne mou en se ou si e jina ye. Na ou yi kristo souba ya. E wo omu no etre. You see I. If somebody slaps you like that in anger. And then you turn and you do this. You never know the load. You are placing on his mind. Even if he manages to slap the other cheek. He will never sleep for 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 days, yeah, so be because he would have thought that he might have slapped an angel. Yeah. Because human beings are not like that, and so the person will be hunted forever. And if you said you were a Christian, the person will know that you are not like them. Yes, yeah, so be born modi a pai wa suni fenim na uyiro wa dane bengum no so edimano a onu a befe nukum. Na obi un amani huwe jure no. Na odi akukuduwa mpo e pae diye akani mwa. Wa nifu un timi na. Un timi na kura. Isa nse, obi unu se uye ni pasu nko. Na gimbe ya nise, jama bofu mpo enu wabu na sumu no. Na sa wakasa uye kristo niya, obi akasa uye ntesa hafufu no. See, the problem we have is that we are always fighting for self. So, we don't ever end in this struggle. The sermon on the mountain is not do your duty, but in effect, do what is not your duty. Okay. It is not your duty to turn the other cheek, and it's not your duty to go the extra mile because you said. Lead me for a mile. It's not your duty to go one mile extra. No. But in the Sermon on the Mount, as good Christians, we just don't have to do what is our duty. Do what is not even your duty. I want you to repeat this after me if you can. Always remember that it is the Lord's honor that is at stake in your life, not your honor. So lift him up. Always remember that it is the Lord's honor that is at stake in your life, not your honor. So, Please exhibit Christ, lift him up, and he will draw all men unto himself. We are always looking for justice, but the essence of Jesus' teaching is to never look for justice from the other person, but never cease to give it. Never look for righteousness from the other person. But never 
fail to give righteousness. Debia ye pe atentrene ene trene adi e na so Yesu nche nche no chere yense me mi ye nche we kwai enfri ni pa ho ne mum ye nche se debia anso ye be isa sui edi edi achira fufu. I want to put a comma here. Aha, me de sign ho. And then let me iterate the fact that. Na mi si su di abuse. Always remember. Debia rakai. That is the Lord's honor that is at stake in your life, not your honor. So lift him up. There's this woman whose husband used to trouble her a lot. Man used to drink and drink and drink. He he drunkard. Drunkard. So anytime that a man comes home drunk, the woman will not mind him. He will not even cook and all that. One day this lady went to church. She was taught like I'm teaching. And she decided to go the extra mile. Because drunken husbands or spouses cause some women to uh, can be very, very overbearing. The time they come home, the demands and the shame sometimes they bring to you, the woman decided to change and go the extra mile. Just to turn the other cheek. For the man to slap. Ah, they said, "Dear Papa, na bona so ni fan di ni mwa or dani bengum di anonso edi aman." So she, she began to change her ways. Into a bomo di so best sa na brabo. Those days when the man came late, the woman would be fast asleep. Na bria ekwe mono ansa na Papa ni bebe fio na mama ni wa da 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 o. When the man comes, touches her, the woman will let go a slap. Oba na so nim no di nsa be kama miya na da na sum. But he dis she decided to change. The man comes very late and the woman is up awake. So, so the, oh, my husband, where did you go? Why did you live your life like this? When the woman kept doing that, the man decided that I have to go home early because of my wife. Because by this time, she is staying vigil. Because of me. My minister says, Oh, yes, I know. The beer, I dear Sampet, not Papa, or Pentema could feel sense one person here in Obis repair. So he decided to be coming home early. To a night, you say, Fidia, or be beef in them. Drunken people are not married. Hey, Woman, one bropano, one brabono, or a rib. And they drink for many reasons. Now, what can be brain tear, or dinner so ebro? Now, this man tells. The friend whom he's been drinking liquor with, that I know I'm disturbing my wife, so I think I have to stop. Tipa pay catching a down for on any blue bomb, and he said, She said, Yeah, me, how many repent and son of a bear, I am fancy her. Then he tells the, the friend how the wife's been treating him nowadays, and the, the friend said, Hey, are you sure there is no woman on earth who would do this? Me, my wife, hey. That's why I go late. When I go, I will just find somewhere and sleep. And what can't you say? You're not saying 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 you are 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 not saying and they are no more shay, no more yoki, a benanti said they are two mountain time. Now, young shady, you see. So when they got home, the woman first saw this man, so oh, my husband. And instead of fetching the husband first, he took the hand of the, uh, the friend and then little by little led him to the hall. Now, what quiet, what caught two mamma and mamma who said, Hey, and they do me, you know. Now, so, or you're in a crack, 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 a now down for no, they never buy. Prepare baby, I'm on it tonight. And what should you do? Come on, come on, come on. Then brought the the husband inside. Then you do so a bit. The woman just went out trying to find some water and maybe fix something for them. Once the woman turned from the room, the man said, "You see, I told you." And now, 
mami bo modin aso wo kwa kwa hwe hwe nsuo ne ade e de abehwe na hohu abeyi na okọ no e na ne kunu no dane ne ni kire na ranfo no ka kire nse danfo man kan kire wo se wo then the friend shook the hand e na na danfo no wo so ni the friend was surprised about the food the woman fixed for them na a yen won won yie san san che mami de aduane kama kama e bre wo so the friend left en tan che na na danfo yi hwe hwe middle of the night na anadwo no the woman started praying. Then kneeling by the bed, she mentions the husband's name and then she tells God, Oh God, look at this handsome man. And this kind of habits wants to destroy him. Father saved my husband and the man said hello I mean and we book to dey e wo you cry enim na o bompaye e ma no no and we can tell you that say urade hwe abranti e kama kama ya o dey na ma me na so abrabo funu e say no e urade je no a papa ya team amen they all want to be saved but who is a christian to exhibit christ so why no be you christ we dey and and suban e dey atire we lift him up e ma no so say ah draw all men on to him so they take they took a decision and ja and we see ajina here san nam for me give their life to jesus say what the won kwa e be ma christ they never told this woman one can't tell me that they will be in church say we be kwa sorry dey we went to church then we kwa sorry sat at the bar we kwa tire tire ho they said they sat in the back as you say not what you tell her and then when the altar call was made two young men hey and now for me you know nice gentlemen right here come on come on come on they gave their life to christ what back at the fact christ the woman was shocked with surprise hey yeah my men one way yeah papa papa eye for eye Christ otherwise the world cannot be saved and yes ah e wi ase no nyankwa but Christ in you now so Christ o wo mu is the hope of the manifestation of the glory of god no ni eni da so aye wodi mo nyankopon ani onyam no ahuye so i challenge you enti me so un cry ten and you live no modi aso be sacra wa kwan live like a christian yeah bo bra so o jidi ni because san say always remember that be ara kai it is the loss anna that is a stake <laughs> in your life <laughs> not your anna <laughs> so lift him up <laughs> and he will draw people unto himself <laughs> may the lord bless you <laughs> may he keep you <laughs> so he grant you a good heart and a good mind <laughs> so transform our nations <laughs> god bless us <laughs> <laughs> we rise to our